एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Welcome to S Chand Academy. I am Narendra Kaur. Now let us begin with the topic: sinusoidal pulse width modulation inverters. Now, if you want to study this topic in detail, refer this book from S Chand Publishing. E-book link has been given in the description box. So, what are sinusoidal? PMW inverter is also called as PWM inverter what are these inverter so sinusoidal pulse per basically what is a pulse width modulation pulse width as a name indicating modulation means in enhancing something that means we are interfering over here the two wavelets when consider what is a firstly we will understand what is the meaning of this topic modulation modulation means enhancing the magnitude or intensity so this is called modulation so modulation means now if these are the two carrier waves when they superimpose on each other we will get here the resultant wave will be this so this is a modulated wave this is called modulation called the constructive interference and in the second part when instead of this wave there is this kind of wave so when we are superimposing these or uh, these two waves we will get over here so this the intensity of this wave that will be very small so this is called demodulation or the destructive interference so this is the meaning of the word modulation over here now what is the meaning of pulse width pulse width means we are taking here the width of this pulse means the carrier wave and the reference wave so here the two waves are again consider and they are superimposing on each other pulse pulse width means ki their frequency goes on changing so that's why there comes a term pulse width over here their frequency of this is goes on changing time by time so we are taking here small intervals small intervals of the inputs have been get taken and then they get superimposed or their modulation is done so there comes a word pulse width modulation width modulation means why this is so so what is the meaning of width over here means a time period that is fixed in this case the time period is fixed so the pulse width means their width is fixed in this case so this is a name over here now again there comes in sinusoidal so this is a combination of two wave one is a carrier wave and second there is an reference wave so one is a carrier wave second one is a reference wave now in order to transmit signals reference wave and carrier wave they both are superimposed on each other in order to get the resultant wave means at the output source we will get the resultant when these two carrier wave and reference wave superimpose on each other now now how they can superimpose on each other so there are some uh, conditions there are some terms which are necessary for the carrier wave and reference wave to get superimposed on each other firstly one their frequency must be same or nearly same means the frequency of the carrier wave and the reference wave in both the cases that can be same or they are nearly same means the difference in the frequency of both it is very small second is about the time period time period which is a defined as a number of waves which are crossing the given area or the given time 
दैट इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम और नियरली सेम इन बोथ ऑफ कैरियर वेव एंड रेफरेंस वेव थर्ड वन फेज ऑफ बोथ दी वेव फेज ऑफ बोथ दी कैरियर वेव एंड रेफरेंस वेव that can be same or different now if their phase is same we will get modulated or you can say that highly modulated output second when their phase is different or it is changed or you can say that when the phase is opposite you will get demodulated and the output will be very small so these are the basic requirement for the carrier wave and the reference wave now in the sinusoidal this pulse width modulation as in the previous studied voltage inverter we know that there are the two capacitors if this is c1 and c2 these two capacitors are act as an half width here the switches are connected with them again with the diodes here is a load again there is an same setup is connected over here now if one is a reference wave that is a input value which is given to them and second one is a carrier wave which carries the signal and the resultant of these two here these two can get added up or they can be subtracted means the output value can be maximum or minimum in both the cases that will depend upon the charging of the capacitor as well as forward biasing of the diode and the reverse biasing of the diode this is a same case so in this case we will get the output that is just like that of the sine wave means this is the output of this is a dc output in this case now this is a positive negative positive and negative so this output is same as that of here this is a same output as a sinusoidal wave in this case one is a positive half cycle then negative positive and negative half cycle so in the similar way in the sinusoidal pulse width modulation superimpose of the two waves one is a carrier and second one is a reference wave so carrier wave is basically which follows the path given by the reference wave now next the reference wave is now in case of capacitor this reference wave can be represented like this now the according charging and discharging of the capacitor this is a linear variation so here is a linear variation so charging so if this represent the charging of capacitor gives the discharging of capacitor again charging and discharging if this is represent the charging and discharging of the capacitor then this is called the reference wave in case of capacitor now its charging and discharging that can be given by the voltage that is given by v equals to i r here is the inductance of the capacitor that is xc which is given by 1 by omega into c what is omega over here omega is a frequency that is a 2 pi f and c is a capacitance of the capacitor now its charging and discharging that is taken place in the linear way so means during the positive half cycle there occur charging of the capacitor during negative half cycle there occur discharging of the capacitor so this charging and discharging of capacitor is taken like that so this is the reference wave so now in the first part we cover the topic of reference wave in the upcoming second part we will cover the carrier wave and then we will understand how there occur pulse width modulation in the sinusoidal inverter now if you want to study this topic in detail refer this book from s chand publishing e book link has been given in the description box and if you like this video please like share and subscribe and also press the bell icon for the future notification
all rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.